Okay, so let's show that uh, back in our MATLAB script. So, so here let's make a new function called the uh, uh, multi grid. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay, thanks. So we we are trying to make it the same way as we coded up the Jacobi and the uh, Gauss-Seidel iterations. So. Uh, the start is we are computing the residual, right? So the residual, first of all, is going to be. Uh, let's actually first uh, do the same thing to compute delta x again. Uh, so that's the same thing as what we did here, and uh, the residual is going to be the residual of the. Um, of the Laplace equation, so so residual is going to be the b minus. Okay, so let's first uh, make it equal to b, and uh, for i goes from two to an interval, for j goes from two to an interval, we are going to say the j residual i j is equal to residual. Let's let's make it a clearer to, to let's do zeros uh, size of b. So r i j would be equal to the right hand side, which is b i j minus the the Poisson's equation, which is uh, uh, u zero of i minus one j plus u zero of i plus one j plus u0 of ij minus 1 uh, plus u0 of ij plus 1 uh, we have to minus 4 times u0 ij divided by uh, delta x squared right so so we have um, We have the right hand side minus the left hand side of the Poisson's equation. So b minus the second order derivative of u in both x and y directions. Right? Okay. Uh, so that is our residual calculation. And uh, once we have the residual calculation, we want to interpolate this to a coarser grid. Uh, no cost. So our interpolation to the cost grid would be something like that. Uh, so so we should have R. Let's call it R C is equal to. Uh, I think we'll do exactly what you mentioned. Uh, we will make a a cost grid that is exactly twice as cost as the fine grid. So so it'll be zeros and interval divided by 2 plus 1 so I still need the boundary conditions and the RC of 2 2 and minus 1 2 2 and minus 1 would be a copy of my R so uh, so let's see how should I perform that copying I have a fine grid Like this, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, I want a cos grid that is twice as cos. So, cos grid would be like that. So the cos grid starting from number two should be the fine grid starting from number three, right? So I should be three, two, and minus two, three, two, and minus two. So the second number here is the, uh, I, I'm going to skip one, uh, I'm taking every two values, yes? Minus two, yeah, thank you. Okay, so now I have the interpolation to the cost grid. On the cost grid, I want to solve, uh, perform iterations on the cost grid.
So it's usually good just to, to perform a few iterations. So let's make a call script uh, dx du. So that's the correction on u is uh, let's do zeros uh, the size of rc. So we'll make initial guess equal to zeros. And uh, let's do 10 iterations and uh, let's use the gauss seidel iterations. So du is equal to gauss seidel of du and my rc. Okay. And afterwards, I'm going to interpolate the du to fine grade. So here I want to interpolate r, the residual to the coarse grid. Fine grid. So interpolating the correction to the fine grid. So duf, that's my fine grid, is equal to zeros, uh, the size of b here. And here I really need interpolation because my cost grid is only uh, is only a fraction of the grids I have on the fine fine grid. So duf uh, does have some places where I don't need interpolation. So so these are the same points where I can just uh, copy the values from du. Two to end, two to two to n minus one, two to n minus one. Right, so these are the places I can perform my copy. And afterwards, I, w I can just do a linear interpolation in both x and y directions. Okay, so uh, first uh, let's do a linear interpolation in the x direction. So that would be if I start from 2 to 2 to n minus 1. Uh, I still have the same values here would be equal to 0.5 times the average that would be the average between the neighboring values so would be the average between um, 1 to 2 to n minus 2 which is includes both the boundary value 0 at i equal to 1 and all the other values I have already copied from the du on the cost grid. And uh, uh, plus my duf at now 3 to 2 to end. So this is my interpolation in the x direction. So now I have all the values at every i direction, at all the i directions, but at every other j direction. I want to interpolate in the j direction. So duf, now every j direction is filled to 2 to, two to n minus 1 in the j direction is, I want to follow the same formula duf uh, column 1 to 2 to n minus 2 plus duf to uh, 3 to 2 to n. Okay, so that completes my interpolation of du to the fine grid. Yes, yes, all the i directions, thanks. Alright, so now I'm going to add a correction to the solution. So my u1 is going to be u0 plus duf. All right. And I want to do uh, and uh, uh, perform iterations on the fine grid. So I'm going to for i go from 1 to 10, I'm going to perform 10 iterations on the fine grid. u1 would be equal to uh, gauss seidel u1 and my b. Alright, so that completes my multi-grid, I mean two-grid solution. Alright, so let's, let's try it. If we see, uh, we have our, let's again make u equal to u0. 
And previously we performed a hundred iterations of uh, Gauss Adele and we saw what we had, right? So in here, because we have uh, 20 iterations on the coarse grid, 20 iterations on the fine grid. So let's only do five iterations. Let's say u is equal to multi-grid of u and e. Okay, now I get my u. Let's look at what u looks like here. Okay, so um, do you see some difference between the solution I get with 100 gauss Adele iterations and what I get through uh, 5 iterations of multi-grid? Let's actually make another image and compare. Uh, figure u is equal to u0 and the 4i goes from... Let's just copy the code I think I had before. Title Gauss Seidel 100 Oops. So this is Gauss Seidel after 100 iterations. This is my multi grid after 5 iterations, which includes 50 cross grade iterations and 50 fine grade iterations. Do you see some difference or not? Yes. So, so the gauss uh iterations looks very, uh, only has very fine lines, and uh, the, the, the multi-grade has a lot more smoothness, right? It has a lot more lower frequency content in it. That probably means the, there are some lower frequency content in the solution that starts to converge faster in the multi-grade than in the gauss right?